guys, it's Pat and Eric, and we're here to teach you about A major scales. <laughs> All right. So the first one that we're going to do today, we're going to play this pattern right here. It's uh, Wayne refers to it as the backwards A major scale. Um, I like to call it the G form of the A major scale, which can be a little confusing at first, but I'll talk to like tell you about that. Eric, do you have anything you like to call it? I don't know. I find this uh, very classical sounding. All right. So Eric's got the classical sounding form of the A major scale. So we've got, um, here we go, we start on A, sixth string, with the fourth finger, okay? Um, so we're going to go A, let me play it for you first, and then we'll talk through it. So. This also mirrors it kind of a G bar chord. Hopefully you'll never have to use one of these in your life. But it's nice to see that it's there. Okay, it looks like a G chord. Shift it up. Okay, don't worry about getting your fingers around that. Just, yeah, let's do the A scale. So here we go. I'll talk you through it note by note. Um, and then you're going to want to get uh, somebody, or maybe you can do this yourself, to just draw a picture out and see kind of a map of it so that you know what it looks like and you can kind of see the pattern in your head. I know. Uh, I think a lot of guitar players are kind of visually oriented and we see these patterns on our fretboards. Um, it's, it's almost like all the, the correct frets after you uh, practice enough kind of light up and you just know which ones to hit. So here we go with A, fifth fret, fourth finger. We're going to play B, fifth string, second fret, first finger. C sharp, third fret, sorry, third finger, fourth fret. D, now we're back to fifth fret fourth finger. Now we're going to jump to the fourth string. Right here, first fret, uh, first finger, second fret, getting my numbers mixed up. Um, third finger, fourth fret, okay. Um, now this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, we actually have to reach back to grab the first fret of the third string to get that G sharp there, okay. Um, second finger, now we're actually kind of back in first position for a second. Fourth finger, third string, fourth fret. Now we shift back up. Grab the second fret, second string with the first finger. D here, se uh, second finger, third fret. E here, uh, fourth finger, fifth fret. Now we're on the first string, second fret, first string, fourth fret, third finger, fifth fret. Fourth finger. Jeez, it's a mouthful. So let's try and find an easier way to do that. So um, let's go start here on the sixth string. So we're on the fifth fret. Then we're going to jump up and we're going to play one, three, four. One, three, four. Like that. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go one, three. One, two, four. Now on the second string. One, two, four. And then on the first string, one, three, four. So let me review that again. Let's do that again. So we started, we just got the one note on the sixth string. So now we jump to the fifth string. We're going to go one, three, four. Fourth string, we go one, three only. And then we're going to jump back, starting on the first fret, third string, one, three, four. Jump to the second fret, one, three, four. One, two, four. Excuse me, one, two, four. Thank you. Uh, first fret. One, three, four. Okay. Any other better ways to describe this? Let's just play through it a couple times slowly. I'll give you finger numbers as we go. So we have four, and then we're going to do one, three, four, one and three, one, two, and four, one, two, and four, one, three, and four. 
four three one, four two one, four two one, three one, four three one, four. Try it one time where on the on the D string, on the fourth string, instead of using your ring finger for the F sharp, actually using your pinky finger to facilitate an easier hand shift. Sometimes you'll you'll see this fingering, particularly in classical music. Yeah, we call that the squeeze. Okay, so we're here in second position. We get all the way up to here. Now it's time the next string we're gonna have to reach back here to play the first fret. So what Eric's talking about is basically squeezing in just a little bit. Grabbing that fourth fret now with the fourth finger, and now it's a little. You can expand the hand back out, and now you're kind of like right back into uh, first position. Just kind of squeeze again on the way back up. So one more time with that the squeeze fingering. Here it comes squeeze. Cool. Try it out at home. Have fun.